all right people so we can like i said we can just come down from the neckline for the back okay by one inch because the front is wide enough and if you make it the back so wide it will be falling off as you see on that screen okay so we can just make it at one inch so whichever way one 1.5 all of them works and it's okay so you are we are done with the back right now so what i'm going to do right now is to cut off the back part i'm cutting off on the center this is the center okay center back and i'll cut off through the neckline and then i'll also align it to the sleeve you can see this is what we have for the back if i have to turn it this way okay this is what we have for the back so now you know we usually contour our back okay that is if you wish to contour the back but i will advise you leave it because it's just like almost like a kimono okay the and it's not fitted so the effect might not really show so let, let's leave it the way it is so right now i'm going to cut the back since i've cut the front so in cutting the back right now if you wish to stitch you can cut two but if you want to uh, put them together you can cut on fold so i'm going to cut on fold for demonstration trying to demonstrate to you how this wrap kimono top is going to look like so this is what i'm going to do right away i'm cutting i'm cutting the okay let me put it in a way so i can cut on on fold but if i don't it's like i don't have enough fabric in here to cut it on fold so i might just join them together okay so but if you have enough fabric with you you can cut on fold so because of the sleeve length you can see so i will choose to cut you know adding my seam allowance to it as well all right so in cutting this right now i'm going to add my seam allowances just like i did so i'll quickly cut it off then i'm bringing it away. all right people so before i cut i just thought of you know trying to contour my back okay let me just contour my back it doesn't uh, take anything away from us to contour the back instead it makes you have a good fit okay so to contour the back you know how we do that just to take away the excess okay to avoid any folding of any type so i'll just quickly cut off you know contour the back all right so now you can see i've removed the excess part in contouring my back and i'm going to replace that this 0 0.5 in here so instead of cutting by the side at one inch i'm going to cut at 1.5 so right now i'll be cutting adding my 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 inch following the contour line you follow the contour line and you add your 0 0.5 as well now you see that is your 0 0.5 for the peplum okay so over here i'll also add on my neckline i'll add on my sleeve 0 0.5 so like i told you this part which is the sleeve the which is going to serve as the where our elastic is going to be is supposed to be cut at one inch or 1.5 okay so this way 0 0.5 but once i come to the side i'm going to cut i'm going to cut my side from the this point i'm going to cut one inch but once i get to my to the part of my 
waist i'm going to increase it to 1.5 because of the contour line can you see so i've increased it to accommodate the line we contoured so this is what i have for the back in here so you can see i'm taking away my pattern right now for the back so i'll quickly go to my machine right now and i'm going to stitch the back after stitching the back i will have to open it up okay this is what the back will give us okay you can see what the back is going to give us now once i finish joining the back then i'll have to do what merge the front parts can you see so this is what i'll be having once i merge the front part so let me quickly join the back one thing at a time okay so i'll just join the back and bring it for you to see all right people so you can see i'm done joining the center back the two center backs together you can see everything has been joined so the next thing i want to do now is to start merging the front okay i'm kissing front to front you can see the front part of this garment so i'm going to kiss front to front right away so you can see how i'm doing that making sure i align everything together can you see this is the front to front so i'm going to secure it with my pin because i'm going to my machine now to sew one one inch all through can you see now i'll also match this other front again can you see so i'm going to match this part the front to the back bodies and i'm going to stitch again I'm going to stitch at one inch can you see so this is what i am expected to have looking so beautiful people so i'll quickly go to my machine right now and i'm going to stitch all around 0.75 all around then 0 0.5 0 0.5 then i'll attach my elastic okay then i'll bring it back for you to see all right people so you can see now i'm done stitching them you know the front and the back you can see what i have in here okay i believe you are seeing what i'm what i have here people so you can see i'm done joining the pieces together this is the front part of it can you see and this is the back Part of it okay so i i joined that uh, joined and stitch everything together so what i'm trying to explain is this that you need your buttons okay or your pressing button for the one going to be in front and your your the other one this way okay to press it down okay so but before you do that you need to add your peplum all around you need your flay you have to cut your flay taking your measurement the full measurement from the beginning all around whatever you have divided by 6.28 that is to form the flay okay so the purpose of this tutorial is not to attach the flay and make a full you know top it's just for you to know how you can cut this wrap kimono okay so at this point i think we we have really done a good job here now you can see how that kimono is achieved with uh, the flay attached to it so you can see that so what i'm going to do now is to run you know fold in my one one inch at this point then i'm going to insert my elastic okay if i wish i'll insert my elastic and the elastic will just simply hold it you know this way okay so let me quickly insert my elastic and pretend wearing it without the peplum for you to see how fitted is going to look at the upper bodies All right people so now you can see i'm actually done i'm actually done with this dress okay so i have my front overlapping each other 
okay so i'll just pretend using a pin to hold it as i'm wearing it to show you all right people so you can see i'm done with the top right now you can see the front part of this top right now and is overlapping each other comfortably okay so having the v at the right place so i'm going to you you will be attaching your peplum in here okay i'm not attaching it uh, on this tutorial the essence of this tutorial is to show you how you can you know achieve the upper part okay so all you need to do is to take the measurement around and divide by 6.28 cut out your peplum and attach so you can see the sleeve part, okay, it's having exactly the same effect. I have put my elastic, can you see? Okay, you can see the same effect you are seeing on the screen. That is what we have in here, okay? But I actually go, go to wear this so you see how the upper part is looking on my body. And I'll pretend using a pin to hold in, okay? But like I said, you need a pressing button after attaching your peplum on this part and on this part to hold everything together so another thing i want to talk about is the facing okay to finish up this edges the neckline you know the neckline will not be like this is either you you know fold it in and run a stitch on top or you make a facing for it so i'll be using this pattern to show you how you can achieve your you're facing comfortably so for the facing of this remember we have the back part in here so i'm going to treat the back part first because that is what we have here and i'll cut it out and show you how you can achieve your facing for the front so for the back part right now i'm going to make use of a facing of two inches so you can see how i'm marking out my facing following the neckline following the neckline so i'm going to mark my facing my facing to this point can you see so i'll actually connect the points that is my facing line can you see so i'm going to trace out this and it's going to serve as my facing so once i trace it out right now with my tracing paper or my tracing wheel i'll place it on the fabric and add my necessary seam allowances and this part is going to be cut on fold that is to use you are going to use to face face the your garment so i'm going to cut off the back neckline again okay we are done with the back construction so i'll cut it off to show you how you achieve your facing for the front so coming over for the front i'm also going to take a facing starting from this waistline my facing at two two inches two two inches and it's going to take exactly the shape i have in here can you see all right so now i'm going to connect the facing right now can you see i'm going to connect it exactly as i marked so these are the facings right now okay the facings running this way and running that way so you also trace it out that is how you are going to treat the neckline of this garment so now we are done right now with this we are done we are done we are done people so i'm going to wear it right now for you to see how the upper side looks like on the body all right people so you can see the finished outlook of the top the wrap top okay you can see i pretended you know using my press pressing pin to hold it together so after attaching your peplum like i said earlier all you need to do is to put your pressing pin then your facings you can see how we cut out our facing you use your facing to turn okay the neckline okay and if you want your sleeve longer you can see i have my elastic but it's like it's a little bit short what i we have here was somewhere here so you are going to make it like 23 inches which is your full length of 24 inches so when you put your elastic you have exactly what you have on the screen okay so you know we took at 18 inches and you can see that's why it's as short as this 
But it's not your choice anyway. But the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how you can achieve this wrap kimono. You can see the sleeve, the neckline. You can see the, the neckline is exactly at, at where it's supposed to be, okay? So this is how we come to the end of this tutorial. If you find this content helpful, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like this video, share to family and friends. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week, okay? Thank you very much for watching and staying to the end. Have a good day. Bye!